day three began at the ungodly hour of 6.30 a.m. The plan for the morning was to get to the top of Penang Hill. And not by riding the funicular train. I wanted to get up there with my own two feet. But this will be the subject of a separate video, a hiking video that I will upload in a few weeks time. So for this video, we're gonna skip ahead and resume after I arrive at the summit. So I did it. I'm now at the summit of Penang Hill. 700 plus meters elevation gain. Haven't done this in such a long time. It was tough. I am completely out of shape. Almost thought of giving up at one point even. But I persevered and now I'm up here. It's already past 11 a.m. and the sun is blazing. But surprisingly, there's still a kind of mountain coolness that still pervades the area. The, the wind is still kind of cooling. It's actually the best end of hike I've had in a really long time because usually I finish at about 11 to 12 and it's incredibly hot. So when you get to the end of the trail, you're dying. But here, surprisingly, even with the very unforgiving weather, it feels okay. So legend holds that if you show up here to any of the shaved ice dealers looking like you hiked up the mountain all sweaty and stuff, you automatically get one ringgit discount, no questions asked. You don't even need to tell them. And I found this to be true. I got this for one ringgit less than the listed price. Well, that is cool. So I'm not going to be hiking down. We are cheating and taking the funicular, which is very cheap, but the queue is really long. So. Holy be Jesus, Penang Hill is popular. The new funicular trains are a lot faster than I remember. They're kind of fun to ride now. Except that it's really crowded and really hot, so. Okay, back to the regular programming. So there are two things that I really want right now. One is a bath and one is a good meal. That second is currently in progress. We have an appointment with a fancy Nonya restaurant kind of place at 2 p.m. It is not 2 p.m. yet, so we are killing time in a place that is not insanely hot, i.e. a mall. A few moments later, So this place is a Nonya Pranakan food kind of place which Penang is also known for. The decor is pretty nice. We'll see if the food holds up. Awesome curry chicken. 
really like the curry chicken. Everything else is pretty good as well. The lava not so much. Everything else is good. Curry chicken is awesome. Oh yeah. I think we have a pretty high standard for Nonya food. And this tastes more or less passes muster. Not bad. It's probably not cheap, but it tastes good. So. Good meal. Special mention goes to the staff who are obviously extremely busy but have been nothing but extremely helpful and extremely polite. So that's pretty rare. Kudos for that. And now for that bath. This weather. Killer. Quintessential Penang weather. See the taller mountain that's back there. Pretty sure that's Penang Hill, which is up there this morning. After a long nap, dinner time. So it says, Old Greenhouse Bakute. Well, Bakute is not even selling right now, and I'm here for the Hokkien, for the Hokkien prawn. Also, one of my favorite Hokkien prawns in the island. I'm not quite as popular, not quite as much of a queue as the one yesterday. Here's hoping it still tastes good. Looking forward to it. Really, really good. Spicier than average, the problem. Me. Everything else is good as well. Okay, so on the way out earlier, we saw that the queue for the prawn me has increased significantly. I guess if you can make good food, people will come. <laughs> 